guys, it's Rishi once again. Welcome back to yet another video, where in this video, we'll be going through reverse percentages. So what are reverse percentages? Well, they help us to work out the original price or value of an item after it has been increased or decreased in value. For example, following a price increase or even a sale. So when you're calculating reverse percentages, these depend on knowing the price before an increase or even a decrease. And remember, an item is always worth 100% of its value, no matter what that value is. So reverse percentages means working backwards to find an original amount given a percentage of that amount. And I'm going to be going through this without using a calculator. And in order to do this, we either add or subtract the percentage given in a problem from 100% to determine what percentage we have. We can even find 1% by dividing the percentage found in the previous step. And then find 100%, which is the original amount, by multiplying your answer in step 2 by 100. So without further ado, let's jump into this right away. So the value of a house has increased by 6%. The house then had a value of 265,000. So work out the value of the house before the increase. So what does this question mean? Well, we know it's increased by 6%, which means the initial price when it was bought was less than 265,000, which means this person has made a profit from buying their house. So in order to work this out, we understand that 265,000 is equivalent to 106%. And we need to find out the value of the house before the increase. So we are looking for 100%. So how do we do this? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both sides by 106 in order to get 1%. And then I'm going to go ahead and times this by 100 and that will give me my 100%. So then we get 265, we divide it by 106, get our answer, and then times this by 100. And you can see, if I'm dividing one side by 106, I have to do the other side. So again, to keep things short, I know that 265,000 divided by 106 gives us 2,500. And then if I times it by 100, that's 250,000. So now I know that the value of the house before the increase is 250,000. But there's also another method that we can choose. And that is by simply multiplying our X, which is seen as now you know the 250,000, multiplied by 1.06. And that's just a conversion between the percentage here into a decimal, and that would equal 265,000. And then we need to make x the subject. So as this is a multiplied, we're going to take it over to the other side, and that will become a divided by 1.06, which means we'll have x equals 265,000 divided by 1.06. And if we calculate that with a calculator, we would get 250,000. So again, as I've shown you in my previous video, you can either go with method A or method B. It's entirely up to you. You will still get the same answer. Wonderful. Let's go for question number two here. In a sale, the normal price of a book is reduced by 20%. So again, if it was 100%, it's now reduced by 20%, which gives us 80%. And the sale price of the book is £4.80. So we now know 80% is equal to £4.80. But we need to work out the normal price. So again, we've lost that 20%. We need to calculate that 20% and add it back on. So if I take a look at my method B here, where I simply made X the subject and calculated it, I can do the same thing here as well. So what am I going to do? I'm going to get my 100% value and I'm going to multiply it by 0 0.8, which is the decimal conversion for 80%. 
and that would give me £4.80. And then I'm going to make x the subject. So I'm going to divide both sides by 0 0.8, and that will leave me with x equals 4.8 divided by 0 0.8. So again, how do I do this without a calculator? So I can simply eliminate the decimals. So I'm left with 48 divided by 8, and that gives me 6. So now I know that the price of the book was £6 before it went on sale. And a way for me to check this is by simply working out 20% of £6. So I know that 10% is seen as 60 pence. So 20% will be £1.20. So if I now take £6 and subtract £1.20, this should give me £4.80, which is the price that we had initially of 80%. So that's another way we could check if our answer is correct. Again, I hope this was useful. Don't forget to pause the video, attempt the question, and then press play when you're ready to go. I'm going to follow the same method as I go through this document here. So keep up the work and let's move on. The value of a litre of petrol increased by 8%. And a litre of petrol then cost £1.62. So let's work out the price of a litre of petrol before the increase. So again, we don't know what the price of petrol was before the increase, so I'll label this as X. We know it's increased by 8%, so it started off with 100%, it then increased by 8%, so now we have 108%. But I'm going to convert this into a decimal, so it's going to be 1.08. So I'll multiply this out by 1.08, which will then give me £1.62. And I will then make x the subject. So we'll divide both sides by 1.8. And so we'll have x equals 1.62 divided by 1.08. So then again, you can have 162 divided by 108. And we know it goes in once. So if we have 108 here and we subtract this out, we're going to have 54 remaining. But we know 108 doesn't go into 54 but it does go into 545 times. So that means our answer is going to be one pound 50 pence. So the price of the liter before the increase was one pound 50. So again, step one, X multiplied by your percentage increase, equaling the value, and then you make X the subject and you'll get your answer. And that's two marks in the bag. Amazing. Let's go for question four now. So in a sale, Normal prices are reduced by 25% and the normal price of the coat is reduced by 12 pounds. So reduced by 25% and reduced by 12 pounds. So that's giving us a hint there. We now know that 12 pounds equals 25%. So how do we work out the normal price? Remember here, the normal price is worth 100%. So what do we times from 25 to get to 100? Well, we know it's four. So if we times one side by four, we times the second side by four. And 12 times four gives us 48. So we now know the normal price of the coat was 48 pounds. That was a nice and easy question. Let's go for question five. So in a sale, the normal price of a TV is reduced by 20% and the sale price is now 660 pounds. So we'll follow the same process. 100 take away 20 gives us 80%. I will then change this to 0 0.8 as a decimal. And because they want us to work out the normal price, let's put that as X, where we will then multiply this with our percentage and we will get 660. We will then divide both sides by 0 0.8. And so we will get X equals 660 divided by 0 0.8. And that will then give us 825. So 825 pounds was the price of the TV before the sale. Okay, question number six. The cost of a council tax bill increased by 5%. And now it's increased by £62. So again, we know it's increased by 5% and increased by £62. So we'll have 62 equals 5%. And once again, we need to reach 100%. So we're going to times the right-hand side by 20 and then times the left-hand side by 20. And that would give us 1,240. 
So now we know the cost of this council tax bill before the increase was £1,240. Okay, beautiful. Question number seven. You're doing really well if you're coming this far. Keep up the great work. And like I said, pause the video if you need to revisit a question again. It will only strengthen your understanding. Okay, question seven. The price of a train season ticket has increased by 4%. And yet again, it's also increased by £152.20, which means 4% equals £152.20. So how do we get to 100%? Well, we know 4 times 25 is 100. So we'll do the same here and times that by 25. And that will then give us 3,805. So we now know that the price of the train ticket before the increase was 3,805 pounds. I hope that was useful. And again, if you want to go ahead and do this mentally, you simply can, where we will have 152 pound 20 multiplied by 25 pounds. And then you can go ahead and multiply this out. Okay, question number eight. In a sale, the normal price of a car is reduced by 30%. And the sale price of the car is £6,300. So work out the normal price of the car. So again, reduced by 30%. So 100 take away 30 gives us 70%. So we now know that 6,300 is equivalent to 70%. We are then going to work out the normal price, which is 100%. Divide this by 7, which gives us 10%. And then times this by 10, which will give us 100%. So I hope you can see how we've gone from 70% to 10%, and then from 10% to 100%. And we'll do the same thing for the other side. We'll divide it by seven, which will give us 900. And then we'll times it by 10, which will give us 9,000. So we now know the price of the car was 9,000 pounds before it went on sale. I hope you're understanding this method here. Let's go for question number nine. So in a sale, normal prices are reduced by 15%. And the normal price of a pen has also reduced by one pound 20. So we now know that one pound 20 equals 15%, and we need to get this to 100%. So how do we do that? I'll give you a few seconds to think about it. Okay, are you ready? All right. So let's go ahead and divide this by three, which gives us 5%. And then times this by 20, which gives us 100. And we'll do the same thing on the other side here. Divide this by three which gives me 40 pence, and then times this by 20, which then gives me eight pounds. So now I know that the normal price of the pen was eight pounds. I hope that was clear. Let's now move over into the next question. Question number 10. So Patrick invested money into a special savers bank account, and each year money in the account earns 4%. So after one year, the total amount of money in the account was 291 pounds and 20 pence. So how much did Patrick invest? Hmm, so let's take a look here. He's earned 4%. So he started off with 100%, he earned four. So in total, he's coming home with 104%. And that's now worth 291 pounds and 20 pence. So let's write that out. And we now need to work out the value of 100%. So what I'm going to do is simply divide both sides by 104. And that's going to leave me with 1%, which will be 2.8. And then I will times both by 100. So I can get the original price here. And if I do that, I'll get 280, which means Patrick invested 280 pounds. So once again, I followed the same step as we took previously. And just to remind you here, a calculator is allowed for this particular question. 
but you can go ahead and simply put 291 pound 20 divided by 104 in the calculator to get 2.8. But for those who want to challenge themselves, feel free to calculate this using your bus stop method. Wonderful. Okay, we're almost at the end of this, so let's keep going. So the Ottawa is the capital city of Canada and the population is 890,000. And this population is 2.5% of the total population, which means 2.5% is equivalent to 890,000. So once again, what am I going to do? I'm going to calculate 1% and then calculate 100%. So divide both sides by 2.5 and then times by 100. So again, 890,000 divided by 2.5 is 356,000. And then I'll times it by 100, and that again will be 35,600,000. That's 35,600,000. Again, that was an error there. We don't need the pound sign. And over to the final question. So a lamp is on sale for 22 pounds and five pence. And this is a 10% reduction. So if we start off by 100 and we take away 10, it's 90%. So we now know 90% equals 22 pounds and five pence. So what was the price of the lamp before the reduction? So once again, what do I need to do? I can divide both sides by 90 to get 1%. And that will then give us 0 0.245 before again, timesing this, by 100, which will give us 24 pounds and 50 pence. So we now know the total price of the lamp before the 10% reduction was 24 pounds and 50 pence. But let's take this one step further before we finish off today. Let's check the inverse way to see if this is correct. So I'm starting off with 24 pounds 50 pence. And I'm going to work out 10% of this, which I know is £2.45. I'm then going to go ahead and subtract £2.45 from £24.50. pence. So we know we can't do 0 take away 5, so I'll borrow from the 5. So we'll do 10 take away 5 is 5, and 4 take away 4 is 0, and then 4 take away 2 is 2, and 2 remains there. So we now know indeed, after a 10% reduction, the lamp was on sale at 22 pounds and five pence. So that was correct. But hey, that brings us to the end of our session there. And once again, to practice these questions, feel free and check through each one individually to see if you're getting the same number that we started with. You've come really far by attempting all of these questions. This was a short introduction to percentages. So keep up the great work. And don't forget to comment below, highlighting all of the tips and tricks that you had followed and if they worked for you. Don't forget to share and subscribe our video and watch out for more content. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.